Ryan here for Silly Reviews with a quick little video that may help some of you out who have one of these Ansel OBD2 diagnostic tools. Uh, what I'm trying to do at this point is register this Ansel FX4000 and once I get it registered I'd like to use the software that I downloaded from their website to update it. Now here's something interesting I'm going to show you. It's a little tricky and confusing. I have the software already loaded up and this is the screen that I was looking for but this is not the screen that will initially show up when you uh, first launch the software the update software okay it will ask you for the serial number and you'll keep entering the serial number which you can get from the back of your device or you can power on the device and uh, navigate to it it won't show you this screen it'll just ask for the serial number and it'll keep telling you that it failed well, I gave up for a minute and I clicked out of the software to close it, but it brought me back to this page and this is the page that you need. You'll enter in the email address that you want to use and click that get verification code. Then it took uh, about five to 10 minutes to get that code in my email. Now I'm able to proceed. Okay, I'm going to splice this little edit in because I went further and the verification code that I had received from the website. I didn't do it through the application like you see here, the software. I did it through the website and I had already received a verification code. But when I entered the email and then I entered the code I got in my email from using the website, I had no, I couldn't click the next button. It, it was inoperable. So the my next idea see how I can use the next button now? I couldn't do that before. So enter the email by itself and hit get verification code, which let this next button be operable, but the code that I had originally got was not working. It says invalid. So what I'm hoping is I'm receiving a new verification code in my email. Hopefully that's gonna work. Okay, I did get a new serial number, a new uh, passcode, whatever it is that I need. What's it called? Verification code. So I'm going to try to enter it in now and it should work. Okay, that was a success and now I'm brought to a registration page. So I think we're making progress and this should be good to go. I hope this helps you. Okay, I entered in that registration information and now it asks for the serial number. And like I mentioned to you before, you can find that on the back of your device or you can find it uh, when you power on the device, you can navigate to it. So I'm going to enter that in and let's see how it goes. All right, this is the same problem that I had before. So I don't know if this video is going to be a whole lot of help to you, but if you figured this out, you could be help to everyone else. Uh, come back if you figure it out and leave a comment. Help us out. I, this is getting frustrating. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is what I had to do. Apparently, I was supposed to plug in the device, the diagnostic tool, before launching the software. So I closed out the software, unplugged the USB, Plug the USB back in, launch the software, and it immediately brought me to this page, which seems like it's going to make things easy peasy. All I need to do is, I think, just download and then hit update or update all, and it should work. It's installing. We're looking good so far. All I hit was download, and it started saying the download was finished. Then it said installing, but now it says download finished. Getting software list. Oh, so now you need to check all the ones that you would want. Hmm. So I wonder if I should just update all. That might be the answer. That's what we're going to do. We're going to update all. So now it's downloading the different vehicles. We've got Acura. This is going to take some time. Let's see if it goes to Amford next. Installing. Yeah, I think it's going to do this for each one, but at least it's automated. Yep, there it goes. Amford is going on. So, Ford. So, yeah, that's going to take some time, so I'll check back in. Okay, about 20 minutes has gone by, and as you can see here, of the 27 updates, 10 have completed. We're on number 11. This process does take a long time. Um, I'm supposed to leave work here in about 30 minutes, and it looks like, and I need to take this laptop home with me. So it looks like um, this Ansel update is going to get me stuck at work for a while. But that's okay because I'm getting the task done. So good stuff. It's 
So hopefully that helps any of you who have a similar device to my Ansel FX4000 OBD2 diagnostic tool or one of their other products, which I'm sure the different models will work the exact same way. So hopefully that saves you a little time and a little headache. My name is Ryan for Silly Reviews. Thank you for watching. Thank you.